with the principal at Sharp Park Academy, Jasper Lesby. Good morning. Thanks. Good morning. Thanks for having me. It's uh, it's been fun driving by your school for the last six eight months. It's been fun living in, in my the, school. <laughs> so I I have to imagine that it's entertaining for the kids. They've learned a lot about construction. I mean, there's been a lot going on. They've yeah. seen a lot of different things with the um, you know excavation on the playground, the construction, you know, parking lot renovations. There's just been a lot happening. What you're not seeing though is the facelift that the inside of the building got right. over the summer. So all of our classrooms got fresh paint, fresh carpet, cool. fresh lighting, fresh window treatments. They just, it looks amazing in there. Now the cons some of the construction workers, I mean, they're working right up to the windows on some of these yes. situations. What are the kids thinking? They, they have been <laughs> so good about, um, you know, not being overly distracted by what's going on yeah. outside. You know, the teachers have been really good about making sure that the kids have opportunities to view when it's something worth viewing, ask questions, and then get right back on track with That's their cool. learning. They got that parking lot done in like 12 hours. It seemed, well, yeah, <laughs> it, it, was seemed, it was really yeah. quick, but it was it was nice to have that done. You're wearing a Viking. This, so this is our new um, shirt for the year, our Viking, our Viking strong shirt, because it's, you know, every year we get something different. And this year is all about, you know, keeping on and, and, and persevering. And the whole staff uh, got outfitted with the uh, Viking Strong yes. uh, shirt. You brought in some uh, photos yes. from Sharp Park Academy. Super fun. That was our, our official rolling out the red carpet. We do that annually to welcome our kids back to school on the first day of school. It's crazy. We welcomed them. Now we're getting ready for the holidays. Uh, you know, it goes by so fast. Um, so we all get out there in our matching spirit gear, and we just make a big celebration of welcoming the kids back. They walk the red carpet. We all take pictures, act like the paparazzi. Where Bart went, they um, did this, but there were nuns with rulers, and they slapped <laughs> them walking in, right? No, mm -hmm. no, Sharp right. Park yeah. is yeah. a happy Switching, place. They hit our, uh, so this is obviously much nicer yes, welcome. Yeah, well, we want the kids to be excited to be back at school. You know, when yep. we do the, our red carpet events, we don't have tears, we don't have you know, scared kids. It's a big, exciting event. We could do balloons. It's just, it's a fun time for everybody, and I look forward to it year, all year. Yeah, and I have bad memories. When I was a little kid, I, I'm left-handed, and the teachers did not like me writing like this. They tried to straighten my hand out, and they used oh, rulers. No teacher should Did do they that. put your hand in a brace? <laughs> no, maybe they did. I, I think, you know, I blocked out a lot, and I think it's gonna come back. Where did you go to high school? <laughs> Uh, Nowhere around here. No, Rice Memorial in uh, South Burlington, Vermont. But they it wasn't in high school that they did that. Oh. They didn't hit me in high school. Well, okay. maybe they did. It was a little, <laughs> the little grades. When I was just a little impressionable kid. Eh? <laughs> Unbelievable. We saw some cool photos from the uh, Spopstacle event. Am I saying yes. that right? Spopstacle, yes. Spopstacle. So Spopstacle is the PTO fundraiser. It's their only main, like the main fundraiser of the year. And it is 100% um, parent powered. It's an amazing thing the kids look forward to. It's like Christmas. Um, on Friday last week when we did our Spopstacle, I opened the door to welcome the kids in and do my little door greeting thing. And I had like 40 kids out there. And when I opened the door, everybody's like, yeah! <laughs> so you know that they're super excited when they're cheering when you open up your schoolhouse doors. This is really but well done by It's like PTO. the American yeah. Ninja Warrior. Yeah, yeah. They, they really put a lot of thought into it. Um, this year we had to do a little bit of, of problem solving because we ordinarily start our Spopstacle course where they're currently doing construction. So we had to really kind of shift things around, think outside the box, but I think it was better than ever. Our PTO just did a fantastic job with, you know, getting the, the groundwork laid, organizing it, setting it up, um, getting volunteers where they needed to be, make sure it's safe, make sure it's fun. Um, the kids just had an amazing time. The parents, we had a great parent turnout, not just for volunteers, but also for spectators. Hmm. Um, raised almost $26,000. Like wow. there's, what? it's just, yeah. What's the, uh, what's the big fundraiser? What's the, uh, the project goal? So we're, this year we're looking at, um, in conjunction with some money that the district is putting up to refresh our playground, we're looking cool. at um, some other things to go along with that. But in the past, our PTO has purchased technology for us. They bought ukuleles that Mr. Jane, our music teacher, uses in the music class. Um, we've got a book vending machine coming so that kids can earn tokens to get free books out of the book mm -hmm. vending machine. There's just a lot of things that the PTO sponsors. Field trips, um, they help make you know big things like uh, our Mackinac Island fourth grade trip possible. You know, we just, we have an amazing <laughs> PTO. There he is. There's really Barrett, hard. there he is. <laughs> Love it. Some of the kids were pretty gassed after the uh, run. 
Yeah, we had some kids that made it through the course like six and eight times this year. <laughs> That's so cool. That yeah. one I'd struggle with, the tunnel. I would struggle with the tunnel. Anyone get stuck in the tunnel this nope. year? No injuries, <laughs> no, no, nobody gets stuck. It looks just like everyone's having so much fun. They, it is, it's just a great day. I'm pretty a happy how, uh, how the kids are doing in the classroom too. Oh my goodness, yes, that's been, you know, I've known about, I've known that the school did really, really well performance-wise on the M-STEP scores since like the end of the school year because we get to see the preliminary scores. Mm -hmm. And I was just like waiting, waiting, waiting. Let's see how the state did. Let's see everybody else did. And I am just beyond proud of the hard work that the teachers and the students did in the building this year because um, Sharp Park Academy outscored state averages by 29% in wow. math and 25% in ELA. That's no small percentage. That's no small percentage. That, so that's state averages. And then we exceeded that by those percentages. Wow. They just rocked it. And that's a testament to the hard work that those teachers are doing in the classroom. That's a testament to the fact that they really, really worked hard during COVID and maintained high levels of instruction during online and hybrid instruction, came back strong, you know, good, good use of data, good use of assessments. A lot of intervention took place last year, get kids back up to speed if they happen to just slip down a little bit. But really my teachers, my kids, my families, they really, really worked hard and it's, it's showing the great place. Awesome. So no. something else we have going on that's new this year, um, and again, it's all parent powered. We, um, in our specials program, we don't usually have art. So we thought, you know, that's really an area where we need to do a little bit of work. You know, we need to give kids that opportunity because we never know where a kid is gonna blossom mm -hmm. best. But if we don't give them that opportunity, we might not know. So um, another parent brought me this curriculum online that's art in action, and she was like, hey, we should look into doing this. And that was a couple years ago, and so it kind of percolated and we kind of, you know, had some conversation about it and talked about logistics and so I really decided this year we're going to get that ball rolling. So I have a fantastic parent, Jennifer, Le or, I'm sorry, um, Jessica Leland, and she has taken up the mantle on helping me get this art in action curriculum rolled out in the school. So this provides art lessons for all of the kids and it's all parent powered. So she's got this whole cadre of parent volunteers that are going to come in once a month and do art art lessons with our kids oh, and really cool. amazing art lessons. Mm. So as part of that, we're also opening up an art gallery. We're gonna do art openings in the building every trimester. We're soliciting um, art donations from local artists. So if any art local artists out there wanna participate and be featured in the Sharp Park Academy Gallery, we're happy to accept your donations. But other than that, maybe you guys can stop by and, and, and check it out when we get our opening yeah, going. We'd love to. That's how parents can uh, help mm -hmm. in education. Instead of going to school board meetings and banging on desks, they could, uh, see how they can help in, in school. Yeah, that's a good way, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. we always welcome parent volunteers. My, you know, I always have opportunities to get parents involved. We can't make the magic happen without the support of our families. What's the project, the bond, gonna uh, do once it's all done to the building? So the, the big idea, the big changes are that um, we are gonna get five new classrooms up where you see construction happening mm -hmm. on the east side of the building. So that's what that big, that big um, project up there looks like. In addition to that, they've expanded parking on the east side, and then, you, as you know, on the Horton Road side, we've got a refreshed parking area mm -hmm. back there. But over the summer, once we get the um, occupancy for the new addition, they're gonna actually be um, doing some demo work down on the west side of the building to increase the square footage that we can use for parking, mm -hmm. kind of create a new entry exit bus loop, so that it's a little bit more efficient for parents during pick up and drop off time, create some more parking spaces for all of our wonderful parent volunteers. Um, Is, so do you think the public's using the new light <laughs> turn left out of, like if you go up Stonewall mm -hmm. taking a left, are you seeing more of that uh, than the cut through? Or are you still seeing a lot of the cut we, that When they redid that configuration, it really kind of cut down on the amount of traffic we had on Park Road. Yeah. And so it's now, the like during the day, most of the traffic that we see there is mostly the, the nice. people that are accessing mm -hmm. the neighborhood. So that was a really nice change mm -hmm. to that infrastructure there. Right. Good to see all the wonderful things happening at Sharp Park Academy. Thank you. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. having me. Jasper Lesby, the principal of Jackson Public Schools, Sharp Park Academy. Stay tuned. More of the morning show after this.